Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. Let's begin. So what I see from the tarot cards is that some of you are dealing in a situation or with a situation in which you are very determined to fight for this relationship. I feel like with this particular tarot card, there's an indication here that resiliency is one of the most strongest qualities that you have going for you and it is going to be to your advantage to keep going in that sort of energy pattern in order to accomplish what you want. So I feel like giving up at this point is not an option, okay? Now, when it comes to the energy of the individual you're dealing with, I feel like you're dealing with a person that has a dual nature. One moment they have a lot of strong feelings for you, they want to be around you, they want to be near you, they want to give you love, they want to be romantic, kind and caring. And then the next moment they feel a little bit detached, they feel like they don't want to deal with their emotions, they don't want to you know, face this. So it almost feels like this person blows hot and cold and you can't figure them out because they make you feel confused and obviously you can't really pin down what they are trying to express at any given time because they have this, you know, very dual-based nature. Now I'm sensing from your energy that you believe inside of your heart that this person has all the makings of a dream partner. You know who they are on the inside. You know that they're very soft-natured, loving and caring, and that they have a genuinely good heart. So I do feel like, for some of you, you feel like meeting this person has made a big difference to your life. For example, you could be looking at how things were before you met them versus how they are now. And it's all of it, it pales in comparison because they've just made your life so much better by being a part of it. Now, these tarot cards, for example, they are on the mind of this individual and I feel like they are dealing with a situation in which they feel as if they are running into a wall and expecting for it to fall into pieces and for them to get through that obstacle or challenge in terms of this relationship. So they're trying to fight something, yeah. They could be trying to fight their inner demons, whatever difficulties they're having, if they have any sort of bad happen habits, patterns or things that they get up to. I feel like it's one of their priorities at this moment to not be, you know, bound and limited by all of those things that pull them down and make them feel weak. So let's get some clarity.
So I see that this person you're dealing with, they've been feeling very lonely. They've been wanting things to move forward between the two of you. When it comes to your energy, what I'm noticing is that you are feeling as if you want to be by yourself at this point of time, unless this individual makes some big changes when it comes to you know, the choices they make in their life. So you want this person to make you their priority. I don't feel like you want to be an option in their life. So you want to be their number one. That's what I'm picking up on the tarot cards at this point of time. I'm going to be exploring the balance of these tarot cards on the early tarot society as well as a single extended reading. You can find the links in the description box below. And if you like a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.